Do you focus on solving your customers' problems? If not, maybe you should. Hi, Chef Hagen here, customer service and experience expert. And today, I'm going to discuss how focusing on solving your customers' problems can create a better customer experience. Now, it's morning, and you've just had breakfast. So the question is, what are you going to have for dinner? This is interesting. 49% of people in the United States do not know what they're going to have for dinner that night. Now, that stat comes from David Portolatin's address at the Art of Beast Summit, sponsored by Cargill. As he was addressing food service executives and salespeople, he emphasized that not knowing what's for dinner just hours before consumers are supposed to eat it is a problem. Not for the food service people, but for the consumers. They don't know what they want, and whether or not they know it, they're looking for help. Not necessarily in the form of a plea for help, but in the form of wanting an easy and convenient way for them to decide what they're going to have for dinner. So, the customer's problem becomes an opportunity for smart people in the food industry. Grocery stores are seeing an increase in the numbers of their ready-to-eat meals prepared with fresh ingredients. Companies like Blue Apron and HelloFresh, who deliver ready-to-prepare fresh meals, are seeing an increase in sales. Then, of course, there are restaurants that make it really easy. When the kid asks mom, what are we going to make for dinner, the most convenient answer when they don't know just might be, we're going to make reservations. The point is that these businesses aren't just selling food. They're selling a solution to the problem of not knowing what's for dinner. Now, a grocer might sell food, but what the customer may really want is a family dinner. A family taking dozens of pictures every day while on vacation isn't looking to have a bunch of photographs. What they're after are memories. Once you understand the why behind what you sell, you'll start to be able to solve your customer's problems. Questioning the why behind the what, you get a better understanding of what's driving decisions and as a result can create a better customer experience. Why does a person want a fancy red sports car? You know, what's driving that desire? Is all they want transportation? No, there's much more to it than that. It might be congruent with the customer's lively personality. Now, you may or may not know that I'm hired to do keynote speeches at conferences around the world. Now, why do my clients want a speaker? Is it just the information? Absolutely not. If all they wanted was information, they would buy everyone a book. One of the first questions I like to ask my client when they're interested in having me speak is, why do you want to hire a professional speaker for your conference? And another question is, why is the topic of customer service and customer experience important for this audience to hear? Well, the answers give me great insight into solving my clients' problems and needs for a program that will meet and ideally exceed their expectations. So, next time you're engaging in a conversation with your customers, think not just about what you're talking about, but why you're talking about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs, as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Chef Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.